फ्रांस बिगेस्ट क्रिमिनल ट्रायल ओवर 2015 अटैक्स दैट इज सेट टू बिगिन द ट्रायल इन्वॉल्व्स 20 मेंबर्स ऑफ टेररिस्ट ग्रुप इस्लामिक स्टेट हु हैव बीन अक्यूज्ड ऑफ बीइंग कॉम्प्लिसिट इन द नवंबर 2015 टेररिस्ट अटैक्स इन एंड अराउंड पेरिस दैट लेफ्ट टू एटलीस्ट 130 पीपल डेड एंड मोर देन 400 इंजर्ड ऑन सेप्टेंबर 8 फ्रांस बिगेस्ट क्रिमिनल ट्रायल विल बिगिन इन पेरिस कोर्ट The trial involves 20 members of terrorist group Islamic State who have been accused of being complicit in November 2015 terrorist attacks in and around Paris that left at least 130 people dead. A special courtroom has been set up at Palais de Justice in Paris for this trial as it involves over 1800 plaintiffs and over 300 lawyers will be representing them along with the defendants. The Associated Press reported that Palais de Justice can only accommodate 12 defendants, 10 cameras and 550 people. The trial will be recorded for prosperity. The 2015 attacks on November 13, 2015, France saw one of its most serious attacks in Paris that killed 130 people and injured more than 400 people. On this day some French and Belgian nationals launched a series of attacks on Bataclan Concert Hall the state the France and some restaurants in Paris while seven of the attackers were killed either during clashes with the police or after detonating their suicide vests three more were killed after the police stormed the safe house in November 18 either earlier in January 2015 12 people were killed when terrorist brother Said and Sharif Koshaki stormed the office of the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo after it published a controversial cartoon depicting the prophet around the same time a friend of the Charlie Hebdo attackers armed Colibri killed at least four people and a policeman at Jewish supermarket in Paris in December 2020 a court in Paris found 14 people guilty in involvement in the Charlie Hebdo attacks while the attackers themselves were killed the trial concerned the accomplices who were accused of aiding them who are the defendants 14 of the 20 defendants present including the only surviving attacker salla abeslan while 20 were accused 14 of them who live will face the trial among these 14 is the only surviving attacker salla abeslan who is the only one charged with murder and who fled to brussels after the attacks the remaining defendants have been charged with complicity in the terror attacks and can face life imprisonment if convicted how have attackers influence france anti terror legislation the terrorist attacks france has experienced in recent years have marked a turning point in the country's anti terror legislation in december 2020 the french cabinet presented a draft law that targets radical islamism although the word islamist is not part of the text called a law to the re- reinforce republican principles the bill went to national assembly the lower chamber of parliament in january Prime Minister Jean Castex has said it is not a text against religion nor against the Muslim religion but against radical Islamism whose objective he said is to divide French people from one another the bill came in the wake of a series of terror attacks in recent years in June this year France National Assembly voted in favor of the bill with 87 votes in favor and 10 votes against it Although the bill was in the pipeline for some time it was seen as a response to the October 2020 beheading of school teacher Samuel Paty and raised concerns about stigmatizing France Muslim community which is the largest in Europe thank you